Thing. 820 here at Froggy Radio. Speaking of entertainment, let's get into some entertainment news. Time now for your Hollywood Minute. Well, Shannon Doherty is a married woman uh, again. Formerly, uh, former Beverly Hills 90210 star tied the knot for the third time on Saturday. You know, they say that the third time's a charm. Yeah, is that, is that working for you? I'm living proof, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Carrie and I, third marriage for both of us, working out pretty well so far. Uh, it was reported that the uh, black tie affair for Shannon and her uh, new husband will air as the season finale of an upcoming reality series on the WETV network. I don't even know if I get that channel, but look around on your listings, I guess. Uh, it was about uh, planning for their wedding, and this will, uh, you know, will culminate with their actual wedding so flip around and find that well actor larry hagman is reportedly battling cancer he's 80 years old now and he's best known for you know playing jr ewing on dallas and of course that. you know i dream shot. of genie i dream oh, that's of, right. you, you know major he, nelson major nelson i dream of genie, genie. That's, that's what i know him for more do than do uh, do do more do than jr ewing do but uh, anyway he said as jr i could get away with uh, you know anything bribery blackmail adultery but I got caught by cancer, so he's uh, you know bumming right now, not too happy about it. But he says yeah. it's a very common form of cancer. It's very treatable, and despite uh, his health issues, uh, Hagman says he will still participate in TNT's updated version of Dallas, which they're going to start filming that here this week. So good luck to Larry Hagman. He just had a liver transplant not that long ago, a few years back, wasn't it? Mm, I don't recall that one, but uh, I'm he is 80. I there you go. It's getting up there. All right. Well, Lindsay Lohan might be facing jail time again when she returns to court for go a figure. progress hearing. Yeah, imagine that. Uh, to uh, Wednesday, she goes back to court. Reports say she may have violated her probation. Basically, she was supposed to see a therapist once a week, which she, for the most part, has not done. She's tried to phone it in a few times, I think, was the most she's done. She was also assigned to do a community service at a local women's shelter, which she just repeatedly was not showing up for, or showing up late, and the whole thing. They sent her to another. They actually tra- transferred her from the women's shelter to the Red Cross. And I don't think they want her either, so she will uh, have to answer for this now. If she should go see anybody, she should go see a dentist. Yeah, to see her, she's got yeah. like, the meth mouth going on. It's yeah. really kind of sad, yeah. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. Uh, one, more, one more story here. You know, Footloose debuted this weekend in theaters. The updated version of Footloose, the yes. movie, yeah. and was a big hit. Well, actually, David Letterman was talking about Footloose Friday night on his show. You know, uh, there's a big movie opening this weekend called Footloose. Now, do you remember the original Footloose? Yeah. Well, it's about a town that outlaws uh, uh, dancing, and they've, they've updated the, the new version. It's same, same idea. A town outlaws dancing after they see Nancy Grace fall out of her dress on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> it's a morning show made just for Who's Your Hi-Ho. It's the Froggy Morning Show with Woodrow and Chuck on Froggy 106.7.